What's up, everybody? Go Burns doing some more Red Dead Redemption multiplayer on the Xbox One. And yes, I'm going to do poker because that's what everybody wants. Well, that's what I want, okay? So I like playing poker, and I'm in the mood to play some poker. So let's see if we can get into another poker session here at McFarland Ranch this time. All right. We'll go ahead and sign up. Inviting other people. We got some awesome open slots available. Hopefully uh, some peeps will join the fun. I'm just going to chill in here for a moment. And hopefully no one will try and kill me because I just want to play poker, okay? I'm not in the mood to fight or to kill. Well, except for on the uh, card table. <laughs> I know some of you have been wanting me to actually go into multiplayer and actually wreak havoc. And, you know start a murdering spree but what you don't understand is if I do that that's like opening a Pandora's box and if I if I shoot somebody and kill them there's a very real possibility that they're gonna kill me and, and they may kill me several times and they might actually get a, a friend or a couple friends to come kill me so th that's not how I roll you know I mean it's one thing if someone starts a fight with me then I'll fight back but for the most part I'm pretty easy going that's like exploring and you know, having fun. And, you know, if I had a posse, you know, maybe maybe I would consider such things. But the truth is, I'm still recovering from my uh, uh, throat issue that I had last week. I don't have a sore throat anymore, obviously. But I still kind of have some gunk in my, my throat, and I've been, <laughs> you know, coughing a little. It's not as bad as it was a, a day or two ago, but still it's there, so I don't really want to overdo it. All right, so time for some poker. At McFarland's ranch, and I'm all alone. So I'll we'll have to wait here for a minute. Because what I'm going to do is, if I continue doing Red Dead Redemption poker, I'm going to do uh, an episode at all the different card tables. So we already did one at Armadillo. So we won't go back to Armadillo unless, you know, eventually, you know, I do all the other card tables and we go back to Armadillo. We'll see. And it really just depends on if you guys continue to uh, watch these poker videos. And if you stop watching them, I guess I'll just continue playing poker by my lonesome. But, you know, it's just in the morning here, Monday. You know, I had nothing else to do. <laughs> I'm just bored. And chances are there's probably going to be a Mafia 3 video later on today. But I just felt like sitting back and relaxing and playing some poker because I enjoyed it last week. And it, and it seems like some of you enjoyed it as well. So, Except for some of you that were, you know, complaining about me not going around shooting people in free mode <laughs> in a Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. <laughs> There's always exceptions. There's always a few people that, uh, well, complain, that won't be happy no matter what you do. And uh, hopefully uh, my subscribers, viewers, fans enjoy me playing poker and uh, running around knocking shit over. <laughs> Look at this shit. Knocking it over. Knocking it all over. Uh, I don't get on fire. <laughs> Come on. Surely there's some more peeps that want to play poker. Maybe they've heard of my legend. The legend of Go Burns. And they're like, I don't want to play poker with Go Burns. He wiped the floor with me. <laughs> sure, I don't have a problem racing him. He sucks at racing. <laughs> or getting into a death match with him. But uh-uh. I ain't getting across the card table against him. He's a card shark. <laughs> I don't really consider myself a card shark either. I'm I've just been playing poker all my life, so I guess I'm kind of sort of good at it. I mean, I don't claim to be the best poker player. If I was, I guess I'd be, you know, doing the professional poker tours and making, like, millions of dollars. Maybe I missed out on my calling in life. I don't know. But I always enjoyed playing poker for fun. Well, sometimes for money. But not big money. Maybe, at the most, a few hundred bucks. So, you know, I've, I've done okay for myself whenever I have played on occasion. But, I don't know. And, you know, one of the reasons why that's what I prefer, like, whenever I go to the boats every now and then, because we do have some casino boats here where I live, is the fact that it's really the only game you have a chance of actually winning at. Like, all the other games, like slots and uh, blackjack and, uh, you know, the roulette table, all that. The f you have, you know, the problem is you're playing the house, the house being the boat. The casino. And as the old saying goes, the casino always wins. Every now and then, yeah. 
somebody else wins. And the only reason why that happens is because they have to give the illusion that they're winners, that, that somebody, you know, wins big at slots or, you know, at the blackjack table or playing roulette or any of the other games. And with um, poker, like Texas Hold'em, for example, you're playing against other players. You're playing against their money. You're not playing against the house. The house is obviously getting a nice little cut, you know, from the games, or else they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't be hosting the poker games. But at the same time, you're not playing the house. You're just playing other players, and technically you're taking their money, which, you know, kind of sucks for them, I guess, if they're not the better player. But then again... As Clint Eastwood once said, a man's got to know his limitations. All right, so let's move to another uh, table, shall we? Uh, McFarland didn't exactly pan out. Maybe we'll do McFarland another time. All right, so we're going to go to uh, Mexico. We're going to Mexico. And hopefully we will find some good poker players south of the border. Maybe, maybe not. So we'll chill here for a moment. Here at uh, Casa Madrada, or Magudra. I think it's my Gruda, I think. Anyways, my Spanish isn't the best, admittedly. Which is sad, because, see, I was born and raised in Texas. And I took some Spanish, and I have Hispanic friends. So I, I seriously should have worked harder at uh, being bilingual. If that is one thing I wish I could go back and, and do and improve upon, education-wise, it would be actually putting a lot more effort into you know, learning Spanish. I mean, I know some Spanish just a little bit, you know, enough for, like, maybe some, like, basic conversations, like, hola, you know, and, you know, a few other words, but I'd rather actually know a lot more than I do know. Especially, like, whenever you, like, see people, like, speaking Spanish, you kind of want to know what they're saying. I mean, most of the time, they're, you know, just like anyone else speaking their language, they're just probably just having a normal conversation like the rest of us do. But every now and then you got to wonder, like, are they talking about me? <laughs> are, are they talking shit? <laughs> and they're just talking shit in Spanish or, or French or German or whatever language they're speaking because they know that, you know, there's a very real possibility that nobody around them is going to understand what the fuck they're saying. <laughs> it does make you wonder. Uh, would you guys like a drink, a, a nice uh, beverage from the bar, maybe some uh, tequila or, um, let's see, some... See what else we got here, man. Not much, man. Where the hell are the freaking poker players at? <laughs> ah, I swear. You know, one one of these days, if I continue doing this poker series, I would like to just jump in here and just get right to a game. That would be freaking awesome. But you know, this is still a beautiful game even after six years. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I mean, down here in Mexico, it's just so beautiful and. It's so awesome that we can now play it on the Xbox One. I mean, I realize it's not a remastered edition of Red Dead Redemption, but it still looks pretty good, you know? It still holds up after six years. I mean, it, yeah, if Rockstar San Diego is working on a new Red Dead game, it's probably going to look like a bazillion times better, no question. But at the same time, this game still does not look bad for being six years old. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and move on to another uh, table, shall we? Going to teleport from Mexico probably back to America. Maybe. All right, well, I think there's two tables in Mexico, so we may go to the other one. I don't know. Where are we heading? Oh, we're going to Beecher's Hope. We're going to go hang out at the McFarland Estate. Well, not McFarland Estate. <laughs> I mean uh, the uh, Marston Estate. Yeah, this is, this is the home of John Marston. And uh, his son Jack and his wife. What? What's this wife? Amanda? It says is this wife's name Amanda? I think it starts with an A. I don't know. Anyways, you know what's funny? Whenever I first played Red Dead Redemption when it came out, and he was always talking about his wife, I didn't believe him that he actually had a wife. I thought he was just bullshitting. <laughs> I, th I thought he was just like, I, I have a wife. I have a wife. Yeah, my wife and. It was always like, yeah, you, yeah, sure you have a wife, dude. Like Anyone that talks that much about their wife probably doesn't really have one. And it turns out, you know, wow, he did have a wife. He does have a kid. So that was an interesting revelation, you know, that you found out 
near the end, not not the end of the game, but near the the I guess you could say the third act of the game. I was like, wow, yeah, you know, the federal agent actually did have his wife and kid, and um, they're perfectly fine. Well, for a time at least, right? Damn feds. All right, so we'll walk around here and hopefully we'll find somebody to play some poker with. And I, as I did with the first episode, we're not going to uh, finish the video until I get into one game. So that's the plan. Honestly, I would like to get in like to back-to-back -back games, like two games, like if they're two quick games, with like two or three players, that'd be fun. Or a nice long game would be great. But I'm not going to... Like, if, for example, I don't get into a poker game, obviously I, I didn't post this video. So, if you are watching this video, it means that eventually, somewhere down the road, I'm going to get into a poker game. Whether I win or lose remains to be seen. But, <laughs> time will tell. Ah, oh, man, I swear. <laughs> and it's not that many people... I don't, like I said last time, like I don't really think that many like players that are doing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer really um, know that this is one of the features you can do in the game is actually play poker. Maybe they just don't give a shit for poker. Maybe they just like riding around on a horse shooting each other. Maybe that's what they prefer. <laughs> uh, but me, I want to play some poker. And I think I've been at this uh, location long enough. Okay, so let's move on to the new location. And hopefully, maybe we'll... Uh, get lucky somewhere else i don't know I mean, this is crazy <laughs> all right so we're gonna have to skip armadillo because we already did armadillo uh last monday and i'm gonna try and keep it different if i continue doing these uh, series so we'll quickly skip before anyone shows up and breaks my heart all right goodbye armadillo I'll see you later <laughs> all right we're going back to the mcfarland ranch back where we started this episode <laughs> it sucks that it's been like the, the like it's like this episode series, this poker series may actually end up going this way. Like, where, like, the first half of the ser of the episode is just me running around trying to get into a poker game and yapping and talking shit. And then I finally get into a game and uh, eventually start playing some poker with some peeps. So we'll run around here for a moment and then we'll skip to somewhere else. I have just, you know, just want to play some poker, man. I just want to play some poker. Some Texas Hold'em. Ah, get on the boards, you know, see what I got. And, uh, well, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, so what, what do you think is going to be the next Red Dead game? Do you think it's going to be a, a sequel to Red Dead Redemption? Do you think it's going to be a prequel? Let me know below in the comment section. So what I think, and what I've mentioned several times already, just in case you haven't heard my theory, is that because of the fact that Red Dead Redemption takes place at the end of the American Old West, uh, on the eve of the, Amer of the First World War, I don't really think they can really do a sequel to Red Dead Redemption, especially if they wish to keep the Red Dead verse in the Old West timeline. So they have no choice but to go backwards. They have no choice but to go back to the 1800s with the third Red Dead game. And yes... It would be a third Red Dead game because the very first Red Dead game was Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Redemption is the spiritual sequel. Now, obviously, Red Dead Revolver is... Now, I would say it's the lesser known of the two games. Not as many people played Red Dead Revolver as they did as Red Dead Redemption. But at the same time, the original Grand Theft Auto game still exists. GTA 2 still exists. Just because not as many people played those games as they did, you know, the 3D games like uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, and of course the HD-verse games like uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, you know, that still does not discount the fact that the original Grand Theft Auto and GTA 2 still exist. The same thing goes for Red Dead Revolver. It still exists. It's still a game. So you can't just call this the first in the Red Dead series because it's not the first game. And everyone that calls the uh, third Red Dead game, whatever it's going to be called, Red Dead 2, obviously are not really experts in the Red Dead verse. They don't really understand that. 
and it really makes them sound stupid. And what's really sad is that you see a lot of these uh, talking heads on the professional sites like IGN, GameSpot, etc. A lot of them say it too. A lot of them are like, oh, I can't wait for Red Dead 2 or Red Dead Redemption 2. And the truth is, it should be called Red Dead 3 until there's an official title. Because it's obviously not going to be called Red Dead 3. I mean, especially if it's technically going to be a prequel to maybe Red Dead Redemption and a prequel, perhaps even to uh, Red Dead Revolver, or maybe it'll exist around the same time. And look at this. We have a victim. <laughs> Valentine. Okay, oh, we got another victim coming up. Okay, nice, very nice. So while we're waiting for our, our, our uh, victims, we're going to have a, some water. Hmm. All right, so we got, let's see, Valentine, we got Drew. All right, let's jump for joy. We're going to jump it for joy. Yeah. Hey, don't you hit me, bitch. Are you going to pay for this? Damn, you're uglier than a burnt boot. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking shit. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, let's go. Goddamn stupid coward. I'm talking trash. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Poker at McFarland Ranch. The winner gets a lovely evening with Bonnie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's play some. Here we go. Polka. All right, all right, all right. I'm the dealer. You know, one thing I notice is that my character up close looks like uh, Wyatt Earp from uh, Tombstone. Another Western I love. So we'll go ahead and throw $2 down. All right, we're not starting with that much money this time, so we got to be extra careful. We only got $98. 98 bucks. All right. So, last... Wh what is wrong with you people? Really? Fuck y'all. Dumbasses. <laughs> All right, whatever. What? Oh, I think I had a three, didn't I? I would have had a three of a kind. I could have easily won. All right. All right, whatever. Pair of threes. Okay, so I think I had a three of a kind. So I could have easily won this one. The other player uh, lost it out. You're an idiot, Drew. What's wrong with you? Moron. That's not how you play poker, genius. Alright, so this will be a quick game for me. Okay, I got a jack and a deuce and the clubs. Okay, I'm staying in. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what he does. Let's see. Uh, Drew left the game because Drew was being a tryhard. All right. What's this about? Okay. Let's go. Come on. All right. I got a king and I got a jack. I got two pair of jacks. Okay. All right. I'm going to check right now. You see, really, I, I want to win. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, uh, ha, ha. I win. Nice. Very nice. All right. A new hand is being dealt. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah, my character looks kind of like yeah, uh, what Kurt Russell in um, Tombstone when he played Wyatt Earp. Okay, uh, not really much there. So just a three and a ten. I didn't really get any money there though. Raises it to four. Do I really want to? And eh, it's just two dollars. Fuck it. All right, we got seven, seven, two, and nothing else. All right, calm down, Cap. My cat's getting all excited about poker. All right. I don't really have anything. Not at all. I mean, there's two sevens on the table, but that's it. All right. What else is there? Nope. Nothing here. So if he starts betting crazy money, I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm going to be like, I'm out. I'm not going to be out. I'm just going to be like that. Fold. Yep. Ha ha. Yeah, you're not going to get into a bidding war with me unless I actually got something to uh, take from you. So I just couldn't believe Drew. That was just crazy. Of course, I think it was Valentine that threw the money on the table. So Drew's the one who, you know, I guess he uh, took the bait. And uh, I ain't like that. I don't take the bait unless I got something, something. All right, what do you got, Valentine? What do you got? That's probably a good thing, you know, because, you know, I want a challenge. 30. 30. What do you think? What do you think I should do? Should I, should I roll this one? I got a king and a ten. I got potential for something. But that's going to take like a third of my money. Okay, fine, fine. Let's play this. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got potential for a straight. Okay, so I got a king, ten. 
Uh, I would need... What do I need? What do I need? I would need a queen in order to get a straight. Okay. Check. So if I get a straight, then we might be doing okay. So let's see what he does. Because right now, I don't got shit. 63! This motherfucker's trying to fuck me. I hate people that play like this, man. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's, let's see what happens. You know, worst case scenario, I lose. Then it'll be a lesson to all of you guys. See? Wait, 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 wait. What do we get? That's all you had was an ace high. I had an ace high. Jerk off. Ha, 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 ha. I win. That's what you get, dummy. Cards. All right, see? That's why you don't try and, you know, tangle with me. Throw out some money. If I throw money back, chances are it means I got something. All right. I don't really have anything here, but I'll drop a dollar. That has been I'll called. drop a chip. All right, Valentine. I got Valentine on the ropes right now. Valentine didn't think it was going to go his way. Well, he thought he was going to go his way like he did with Drew, but uh-uh. I don't think so. Come on, Valentine. Make up your mind. You're going to go all in? You don't really got much left, do you? All right. What what the fuck are you going all in for? All in. I'm not going all in with this shit. Fuck you. We'll let you go in whenever I got something to you know take away from you. Yeah. I don't even think he was trying. I don't even think he was really trying. I think he just wants out. All right, all right, all right. See, that's the problem. Like, you get some people to get in here, and then they just get, like, bored after five seconds. All right. Let's see. And all he won was, like, four chips, so... Good job there, Valentine. You won four chips. Whoop-dee-doo. What do we got? What do we got? We Ooh! We got a deuce and an ace, but they're different families. Okay. All right, so I got an ace at least, so that's good. What are you going to do, Valentine? The bet is raised. Ah, uh, okay, fine. I'll stay in this time. It's just when it gets stupid crazy, that's when I start going like, what? What? Okay, so we got two diamonds. We got a heart. And, uh... I got potential for a flush. That's so seven, a jack, and my two, and there's a pair of two. So I got something, something. So let's uh, let's play. We'll, we'll put four dollar down. I'm going crazy with four dollars. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, fine, fine. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so looks like there is two pair. I got two pair now. It goes two jacks, two twos. And it looks like my chances of getting a flush are nil. That's not going to happen. But I do got two pairs, so we'll go ahead and put some more money down. Let's go a little bit crazier. Let's go a five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of control. Somebody stop me before I put six coins down. All right, fuck it. I'm going 55. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I'm going to win this one. I got a good feeling about this. Because unless, unless he has, like, um, you know, a, a third jack... Three of a kind. Okay, I got to go in. I got to go in. I'm going in with six. I'm going in with six. <laughs> I'm going nuts. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Oh, he's going into 20. Okay, fine, fine. I'll call you. I'll call you. Let's see what we got. What do you got? What do you got? He had... Oh, man. Damn it. Damn it. Son of a bitch. I had a bad feeling he might have had a three of a kind. No. See, that's what I get for going crazy. See, sometimes just because you have a two pair doesn't mean you're going to win. Just bear that in mind, everybody. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Player. I feel good about this. And I hope he fucking goes stupid here. I hope he goes fucking stupid because he does go stupid. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got, ooh, hell yeah. I'm going to fucking start putting money in. Start putting money in. Go ahead, Valentine. Go crazy. Okay, fine. Yeah, you go crazy. I'm going to put, I'm going to double it. I'm going in. I'm going in like Flynn. I got two aces. I got two bullets. I'm going crazy. All right, fine. I'm all in. I'm all in this time. Go big or go home. If I get busted, then hey, at least I got busted with two aces. All right, what do we end up getting? Ah, there's nothing on the table. All I got is my two aces. What has you got? Two. Oh, damn it. I lost. Ah, fail. Fail. I depended on the aces. Oh, well. So much for that shit. Okay, congratulations, Valentine. Well done, Valentine. You won the day. Ah, see, that's what happens. You get greedy. You fall for the trap. And, yeah, yeah I'm out. I'm out of there. I'm going to go back to, uh, 
Yeah, go back to Fremo. That's where we're going. Okay, return to Fremo. Fuck that. I'm out of here. I lost all my chips. Ah, damn it. That did not go the way I expected it to. I came in kind of cocky, though. After last Monday, I admit I was a little cocky because before I started recording, I easily won a game, and then I wiped the floor of those other two guys. And I think if I'd have had a little bit more money on me, I probably would have done way better today. But, you know, it's fine. You know, it's fine. You win some, you lose some. And the moral of the story here is just because you have two pair doesn't mean you're going to win. And another moral, uh, you were removed from your session or ah, whatever stupid connection issue. All right, so anyways, the other moral is besides not assuming you're going to win just because you have two pair, don't assume you're going to win because you happen to have a pair of aces in your pocket. Because the only real chance I had was if a third ace would have actually fallen on the table. And that's what I was kind of banking on was maybe getting lucky with a third ace or maybe a two pair on the table. See, that that would have gone really well for me. But, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes with poker. It's, it's all about statistics and probabilities. And sometimes the odds work to your favor. And sometimes they don't, like they did today at McFarland Ranch. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying my poker series, uh, let me know below in the comment section if you want me to continue... I will be more than happy to do so because I do enjoy po enjoy playing poker. Even when I w lose, I still enjoy playing because I learn from my mistakes. I learn from losing. And the truth is I'm actually kind of rusty at poker because I haven't really got into poker in a very long time. It's just that over the past week with uh, Red Dead Redemption and multiplayer on Xbox One, it's allowed me the opportunity to get back into poker because I used to play it all the time. And, uh, yeah, so... I like playing poker, win or lose. And the fact is I didn't end up spending any real money, so that's that's another factor to consider. No actual money went out of my uh, bank account. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. But, yeah, so if you guys want me to continue doing uh, poker and Red Dead Redemption multiplayer on Xbox One, uh, let me know. And you can let me know by just simply hitting the like button or uh, saying, hey, go Burns, more poker. I love to poker. Even though today I obviously... Sucked. <laughs>